So right now I have opened the folder in the VS code to install the react application here. So for that we need to move on to the terminal and select a new terminal from the drop down there and then you will see the command window will appear and then you can just install the react application here and we all know that the command to install the react application will be npx it will be create dash react dash app and the name of our app like it can be mui dash tutorial so this will be the name of our application so we can just install it by pressing enter so now the react app will be now installed within a moment and then you will see there will be a mui tutorial directory within a few seconds here now you can see mui tutorial is here and now the react app will be now installed within a few moments so let's wait till it completes the installation so now you will see the react app is now installed and now we can just expand this folder mui tutorial and then you will see now we have the react app installed and now we can just move on directly to the app.css and then we can just remove some predefined styles onto the app.css and then we can just move on to the index.css also then we can remove everything from there and then we can just move on to the app.js where we are importing everything like the app.css and the logo so we can just remove both and then we can just remove from the header till the header because we don't need them and then we can also remove the class name equals to the app because we don't have the css now and now we can just move on to the index.js which is a root component of the react application and then we can just remove the report web vitals because we don't have any use and then we can just remove that import from here also and now if i will now save and now we can just start the react application so to start the react application now we need to write the command as the npm start so it will just compile and it will just start the react application and then within a few moments we will see the react application inside the browser and now you can see the react app is now compiled and now we can see the application onto the web page but now you can see there is nothing on the web page and that's true because we didn't add anything onto the web page so we can just move on to the app.js to add a hello there so we can just move on inside the div and then we can just render the hello so if i will now save now you can see now we have the hello onto the web page so everything is working fine but now you will see there is some default margin or padding behind this hello this is a default behavior of the html page because we have some predefined styles like it has a margin of around 8 pixels so we can just remove that also we can just move on to the index.css which we are now importing into the index.js also then you will see we are now importing the index.css and then here we can just add a star universal selector which will select all of the components elements and then we can just add a margin as the zero pixel from all of the sides and then we can just add a padding also as the zero pixel from all of the sides so if we have any predefined styles in any of the components so we can just remove that if i will now save and if i will now just scroll to the browser once again now you can see now we have the hello but without any padding or margin inside that so everything is working perfectly fine and now we can just start the application directly from the scratch and now we can just start some tutorials directly from the scratch and without any pre-default styles margins padding or anything so now let's move on to the next part